Hello, this is Shane from Tweaking.com. Today I'm going to show you the basic functionality of the new registry backup tool. This program is free and uh, will run on any operating system XP or newer. It uses the Volume Shadow Copy service to get uh, perfect copies of the registry and all the registry files from all profiles on the system. Now the program has a few sections here that I'll go over first. Uh, help and support. This is where you can go if you're having any trouble with the program, how to watch how-to videos, uh, support forums, things like that. Underneath the settings, the program comes with a few settings you can do. By default, uh, the program will point to whatever drive Windows is on, in this case C, and put it to the Reg Backup folder. If you run the portable version, say from a thumb drive, your tech, and you're backing up multiple PCs, just simply uncheck this and the program will automatically back up to the directory it's running from. Um, in this case we'll leave it here. Auto delete old backups. Um, you can schedule the, the program to run at user logon or anytime you like. It uses the Windows task scheduler so you have full control and uh, obviously after a while the backups can grow a number. So the auto delete feature will look at the date and time of the folders and when they reach whatever age you put in here will automatically delete them keeping them cleaned up. And of course here we have the scheduling options. Um, if you have it run underneath the current user, you'll see the program open, back up, then close. When you run it this way, it cannot back up any locked profiles, profiles that have been password protected and you don't have access to. If that's the case, you run it underneath the system account. The system account has access to these folders. You won't see it run since it's running underneath system account, but it will be able to back up all the other profiles and of course you'll be able to restore them just fine. So right now backup is as simple as one click. And so right now we're waiting for the volume shadow copy service to create a snapshot. Once that snapshot is created it will then grab the registry files from that snapshot and save them into the backup location. It keeps detailed logs and it also creates a DOS restore option if you need to recover, say you can't boot into Windows, and you can recover from the recovery console in Windows. And so here you go, nice and quick. Also, for any reason, normally you want to have everything checked, but if for any reason you can decide to uncheck a few things you don't want to back up. In this case, we'll go to View Logs, and here you'll see where things were backed up to. And here's an example of the backup log. So this is useful in case you have any trouble or if you want to keep an eye on things like that. The DOS restore command, like I said. The nice thing about the way the program stores it is it stores it in the full file path of the system. So as you see here, you can just go right in there. Now the reason why I've done it this way is let's say you can't boot into Windows at all. You can use a live bootable CD or any kind of CD or, or option you can to boot up from another system access the drive, go to the backup, grab here, copy, and then go to the root of the drive and paste. Hit yes to overwrite and done. Restored. And very easy by doing it that way. That way you don't have to guess where the files need to go. Now that's an extreme emergency options. The program has a built-in restore function which right here what this does is this checks the folder that the backups are stored. You pull it up and you can see it, it's pulled out there, you hit restore now, done. It's that simple, you reboot. The program uses the uh, red restore uh, API, uh, API command and uh, for the system uh, registry files. For the local profiles, it uses the pending name operations registry key. So when you reboot the system, Windows will then take the files and swap them out. And that's it. It's very simple, very basic, but it does a great job. And I hope you enjoy it.